Hello and welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. Today I have a really fun Chop It Up inspired project using the Stamperia Wonderland 12 by 12 paper. I love the colors and the patterns in this paper pack and just like the sort of grungy vibes, but it's so pretty. So there are all different kinds of stuff in here, cut aparts and backgrounds. And so I'm going to make a project today with one of these 12 by 12 pieces. Now I'm going to take a full sheet and I'm just flipping through to determine which one I want to use. And I end up using the last page. This is double sided paper and I always struggle with double sided paper because I love both sides. Now I chose the the last piece because it's not double sided, which makes my choice easy. I have a piece of cardstock. This is heavyweight, eight and a half by 11 cardstock that my dog got a hold of and bit the corner. So I'm going to clean up this piece of paper so that it's usable and I'll just trim it down. I end up with a piece that measures seven by nine inches by the time I was done chopping off all of my dog bites. And I save the scraps so that I can maybe use them for future sentiments or things like that. So I have my piece here cut up and I'm going to take my 12 by 12 piece and cut it down to six inches. And then I'll take those pieces and turn it around and cut each of those by four. So I end up with six pieces that measure six by four inches. And these are going to create little pockets on my cardstock. I've got them all cut up here and I'm ready to start planning out what my project is going to look like. I'm going to take this cardstock and put three pockets on both sides of this cardstock. So I'm just going to grab my patterns and kind of figure out my placement and make sure that the pockets are not like sort of all the same color so that they're a little bit obvious that they're a pocket. And I'll just kind of lay them on my cardstock and figure out my spacing and how far apart I want them to be. You could use a ruler and measure this to be more precise, but I just use the grid lines on my work surface to help identify where I'm going to glue these down. So I'm going to take some liquid glue and I'm going to apply adhesive to three sides. So the bottom, the left and right, so that I leave the top open to create my pocket. So I'll just eyeball this and line it up on the paper, hoping to sort of leave the same amount of space along the top and the left and right. Like I said, you could use a ruler and be a little bit more precise. Um, when I glue this down, I kind of pinch the top a little to create just the littlest gap in the cardstock so that stuff can slip in and out with ease. So I'll go ahead and do that to both all three pieces on the front side and just sort of eyeballing where I want them to go, I'm putting a very thin strip of adhesive along the sides and the bottom, leaving the top open. And all three pieces are glued down in the same fashion. The first side is done, looks good. I'm gonna flip this over and do the same thing on the other side, just gluing down all three pockets. So this is going to create a page that you can use as an insert to a journal. So many different things. I have so many ideas that you can use this little pocket for. Plus, I just like cutting up my paper and putting it to use in my craft room and making fun stuff. One of my favorite things to do with my pattern paper is to buy it. My second favorite thing is to chop it up because I feel like I hoard it all the time. So I went ahead and adhered all my pockets. Then I pulled in this little punch. This is a tab punch from EK Success and I have some Tim Holtz metallic cardstock. So this is just a uh, craft backed cardstock and I'm just flipping through to find a piece that I think matches my project nicely and I kind of wanted to go bold and use that blue but I decided to stick with this subtle sort of rose gold tone. Because my cardstock is quite bright already, I didn't want it to compete with the tabs. So I punched out six tabs and adhered some liquid glue. These tabs just fold in half and then I glue them to either side of the pocket, just kind of sandwiching the paper in between it. And I put all three of those on the right hand side of my little pockets. Now they look like little file folders. Super cute. So I did that to both sides and glued down my tabs. And it's not perfect. It's not 100% lined up the exact same on both sides, but I think it's cute. I think it's a fun, neat little project. 
Lastly, I'm going to take my corner chomper and just round the corners on this little piece of cardstock. It just helps to give it a finishing look and then we don't have any pointy edges either. So that's it. The project is done. Now we can just fill it. I have all of these tags that I created in a previous video. I'll leave that linked on screen for you here. And I just played in my craft room with a bunch of stamps and tools and tried a bunch of different techniques. And I made all of these tags, which are just little mini art projects. So I thought, how cool would it be just to stuff them all in here to kind of store them and make a fun little ephemera folder. I also had some little mini cards that I had made at a previous time. And I just went ahead stuffing all the things I had inside to see what this little pocket would hold and how it would look. Super fun. You can use this for a variety of things. You can use this to store pre-made cards, to put ephemera, to add to a journal, to store receipts, whatever you want to do. There's just the endless possibilities. They're just pockets on a page. And I have this little basket of all of my projects that I've made within the last, you know, 10 videos or so. And I put my little file folder in there and I thought, how cool would it be to have like 20 of these little things in my basket just to flip through with different sorts of projects and ideas. And you can even put die cuts in here, keep, you know, envelopes of sentiments or, and die cuts for cards and things and pull them out when you need them. All right, so that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed this Chop It Up inspired project. I have tons of videos on my channel sharing inspiration on how to chop into that pattern paper. So I hope this video inspires you to do the same. Coming up on screen is a playlist of those videos. Have yourself a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.